Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are continuing our series of interviews and podcasts as we cover all things related to cloud computing technology, cloud implementation, and the cloud adoption process, uh, particularly within the financial services and hedge fund space. Today, we are talking to Jean-Luc, our cloud solutions architect. It's good to talk to you again. How have you been, Jean-Luc? I've been fine, thanks. How have you been? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. I'm keen to to get into this uh, content that we have. So uh, I'm hoping people are going to get all the necessary info that they need. And, you know, talking about public cloud is generally always exciting. So um, let's talk, uh, first things first, let's talk about one key factor here, which is public cloud implementation and what it essentially means for a business. There are a number of ways to describe what public cloud means today for the investment world. Permanently, we're talking about having a system set up for clients that can adapt to any kind of environment or business model. Furthermore, with cloud native services and tooling, it's easy to give your business a necessary modern push without increasing management overhead. When using PaaS tooling, as this will shift some of the responsibility to Microsoft and not onto your in-house IT teams. Yes, that of course makes sense. So let's just talk about the automation tools that would give clients that um, necessary modern push you mentioned. Definitely. The primary goal is to rely on automation as much as possible when moving to the public cloud. Before going into any serious commitment, we make a maximum effort to go through the cloud adoption process step by step. This was explained in our recent infographic. For instance, cloud readiness assessment is the first step when moving into the cloud and building is the second step. This is where we provide our own Terraform solution library. So clients get pre-configured Azure modules automated in the setup of Azure environments within minutes or hours rather than in legacy scenarios where it could take days. Yeah, that sounds like just a ticket. I mean, Hansu has seen many hedge funds and financial services embracing cloud technology mostly for enterprise grade tools, but what are some of the, these tools our clients have really asked for and um, what would you say they they resolve with these tools? From Hensu's perspective, there are so many established UK based and US companies that are looking for the easiest and quickest road for a success. However, we're often asked about how best to carry out cloud optimization and cloud management. There are various tools and services available within the Azure suite most of which we mentioned in our blog post, like Azure Automation and Azure DevOps. In addition to that, companies want to establish a business in an environment that is fast, modern, and secure. Yes, I can see that. And for anybody who's listening, they can always check out our uh, blog post at hansu.com to to find out more about uh, tools and various things related to this topic and uh, basically most of the stuff that's related to, to to the Azure offerings as well as you know our services that can help manage these things. But to move things on here, can you elaborate more about the security aspect of it all? Like what tools specifically can help with that? Yes, of course, there's a number of tools within the Microsoft Azure and Office 365 platform that cover security, and they do sound brilliant on paper. But Azure Active Directory Microsoft Identity Management Service, we enhance security for our clients. In addition, you have everything that is necessary for IT admins and app developers. For example, Azure Ready Office Identity Protection. The tool efficiently exposes potential suspicious activities such as known malicious or malware linked IP addresses of login activity. Also, you can configure your policies based on those suspicious actions, thus taking the right course of action to handle them such as blocking a sign-in or requiring two-factor authentication. We also use privilege identity management to ensure a higher level of security by allowing time-based administrative privileges, which are evoked after a predefined time period. In addition to this, IS virtual machines with Azure can use the Qualys vulnerability scanner, which is built into Azure platform, highlighting vulnerabilities on an operating system. Yes, and we all know, I mean, how security is important. Um, so, but like, 
let's just refocus on the tools. I mean, are there any other, from your experience, are there any other tools on Azure that can be beneficial for, for businesses? Mm, let me think. Well, I think we've pretty much made a quick and clear cover of what's essential in terms of tooling. On a general final note, I'd like to add to the power of the public cloud coupled with Hensu solutions and services which benefit. So if you have a multinational corporation that needs to spin up resources fast, we have the means to carry it out for them. The platform infrastructure resources are scalable to meet IT demands, and that all falls under the Azure umbrella. First of all, it operates on a pay-as-you-go pricing model, so it fits any budget. Yes, that sounds pretty cool. And to be, we are also excited about next month when we will be bringing a variety of content related to cloud deployment via our in-house Terraform solutions. Uh, in the meantime, feel free to reach out to us here at Hansu.